If you've got a refrigerator that's got an ice maker or a water dispenser, you're probably getting ripped off because you're being forced, you're held hostage to buying those water filter cartridges from the manufacturer. And oftentimes they can cost as much as 80 bucks. And you're gonna learn in this video that they're not filtering your water properly. And if you finally had enough, I'm gonna show you how you can stick it to those companies, buy the filters that you want. You'll be able to filter out things that they can't even do. Things like PFAS, mercury, lead, and I don't just mean reduce it. I am talking about completely removing those contaminants and you'll end up with a much better system and you will be spending less money every year. Say you've got a GE refrigerator. Problems start when you try to use another brand of filter. You'll find out really quickly that that filter just will not work. On every one of these water filters, there is a security chip. It's technically an RFID tag and it's typically underneath a sticker. Now, if you think about that, that is an appliance that you bought with your own money that you're unable to get water out of because the manufacturer does does not want you using other filters other than their brand. Now I really believe that that should be illegal, but using my trick, you'll bypass this situation entirely and you will never have to deal with their brand name filters again. This tag has a special number that the refrigerator recognizes. In fact, when we look inside my refrigerator, if we open up the filter compartment, this upper portion is actually an RFID reader. Now there are a bunch of videos on YouTube saying that they have a fix. You simply will peel off the sticker on your original water filter, put it onto your new one that might be another brand, and the refrigerator will accept it as its own filter, except this doesn't work. But your fridge is dirty, it keeps track of every single filter that it's used. If it sees that filter show up again, it'll see it as the same old filter and you won't gain anything. But don't worry because we are gonna beat them all completely. What most manufacturers don't tell you, and they're certainly not gonna advertise this, that you can completely remove the built-in filter. Now I'm not recommending that you don't use a filter for your water system, but they allow you to use something called a bypass plug. Now you'll see these bypass plugs for sale on places like eBay and Amazon, but they're there is no reason to buy one because most manufacturers will give you that bypass plug for free. GE sent me mine at no charge without even charging me for shipping. Now you might be thinking, that's crazy. These are the companies that are screwing you. Why would they go ahead and make getting one of these bypass plugs easy? That's their legal way out. They're not forcing you to use filtered water. They're just saying that if you're gonna use filtered water, you have to use their cartridges because they're made to some sort of standard that no one else can figure out except for them. Now, of course, we know that's not true, but the bypass plug is your friend. It goes in the same place that your filter does. It inserts in, you'll lock it in position, and now you have instantly removed that filter from your refrigerator completely. Now you can filter the water for your refrigerator outside of your refrigerator, but you can use any filter you want. I am a huge fan of reverse osmosis systems. You can get these for as little as about $150. You can install them either under your sink, or in my case, I actually installed mine in my basement. Now this might look a little bit complicated, and that's because this is a real water filtration system. This removes PFAS, lead, mercury, arsenic, and a ton of other chemicals that those built-in water filters that you've got in your fridge just don't even have a chance at doing. My system here consists of four different parts. The water starts at my water main. Now normally this connection up here on my pipe would then go directly to my refrigerator and the water filtration would happen at the point of use. That's the refrigerator. But in my case, I've got a bigger benefit here. I've actually got two different refrigerators and each of them has an ice maker and one of them has an ice maker and a water dispenser. And if I was buying those filters, I would be spending about $250 every single year for poorly filtered water. Now I've got this one system that I've plumbed into both units and I'm getting better filtered water delivered to both. The only part of my drinking water filter system is this white tank. This is the filter system itself. Now this one's made by Watts, but you can get any kind of reverse osmosis system you want. There's nothing sponsored in this video. I'm gonna explain what these two items do. Everything from this pipe over only relates to my well. That's a totally different part of the system. Nothing to do with drinking water, so don't get overwhelmed. When you get one of these systems, you'll get a tank like this. It'll probably be a little bit smaller now, along with the filter, and then you can just plumb it right in. There's simply an in and an out. Now this is just my install, and I know I've got all kinds of stuff going on here, but you can just as easily go to Amazon, buy an under-counter reverse osmosis filter. You will simply do your plumbing into this filter, and then back into your refrigerator. And because these filters are so much larger and there are more of them, I only have to change them out about once a year, and that cost me $80 for the complete set. 
But remember, those cartridges are actually serving two different refrigerators. And additionally, I've even got a hot water dispenser under my kitchen sink that I've also tied into this as well. Now, the plumbing in this thing is just using this ice maker line, this plastic stuff. It's very easy. It uses push connect fittings. There's no soldering involved. Now, surely you've spotted these other things above my filter. If you're going to locate your filter system really far away from your kitchen, and in my case, this is actually about 35 feet away, you may notice a slight pressure drop. If you locate it under your sink, you won't see any pressure difference at all. So if you can put it there and it works for you, that's definitely a better choice. But if you want the convenience of it in your basement like this, you're going to want to consider getting what is called a delivery pump. This pump sells for about $100. They have a really long lifespan, and this will automatically boost the pressure from my water filter every time I use my ice maker or my water dispenser, and it gives me better pressure than what I even started with. Now, once I connected this pump, I did notice something else. The water kind of started to flutter. That's really common in RVs using an electric water pump. They installed this device. It is called an accumulator tank. Now, it sounds complicated. The tank's only about 27 bucks. It creates a little bit of a buffer. Now when the water goes through it, it comes out completely smooth, highly pressurized, which is what you want so you can fill up your glass pretty quick. Except now, the water that's coming out of your fridge is so much better filtered than before, getting out things like PFAS and other contaminants. And the side benefit is if you've got more than one fridge, maybe you've got just a dedicated ice maker or a water dispenser, you can tie those into the filter as well. One filter system feeding all those different appliances. Some people say that reverse osmosis water is just too highly filtered. You're removing all of the minerals and contaminants. But if you're concerned about it, there is an easy solution. You can add in something called a remineralization filter cartridge. This goes at the end of the line and it's not actually filtering water. It is dissolving a little bit of things like magnesium and calcium back into your water. Some people think that gives the water a better taste. I have tried it and I've never really noticed a difference. Clean water is the most important thing in your life, and I think for your health, but PFAS is going to absolutely ruin it. Now, we can't get around PFAS because it's in all different types of products, but at least if you remove it from your drinking water at home, you will reduce the amount that you're getting in, and the only way to do that is with a reverse osmosis system, and there are a few other inline systems that say they can do it, but you've got to check because often they actually can't remove other contaminants, and you kind of sacrifice those for the sake of PFAS. You will find that reverse osmosis systems are the most affordable, deliver the best water, and they are just the cheapest to operate in the long term. And the life expectancy of these systems is usually about 10 years or more. By using a bypass plug, you're going to take control of the situation yourself. Do your own filtration. You can pick exactly what system you want. And once you've got it installed, you can forget about it except for doing those filter cartridge changes that will now cost you a lot less. You will do them less often, and you will get much better filtered water. I've shown you a lot of stuff in this video, and your install might be a little bit different, but if you want to leave me a comment below, I'll try to answer any questions you might have about my system or things that you might be thinking about for your own water filtration system at home. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.